All right, what's going on, y'all? All right, so I got a quick tip for y'all when you're plumbing your hose rails. Um, you know, the hose rail is 3 8 right? My hose rail is 3 8 hose rail. So that's the diameter of the hose on the reel. And plumbing into the hose reel, you see a lot of guys, they'll just use another 3 8 hose and plumb into the hose reel. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to, you know, make it so any more hose you add on to the end of that hose reel, say you got another 50 foot or whatever, you plug that on the end of it. Well, now you have a hundred and say a hundred and twenty-five, a hundred and fifty feet, you know, of hose of three eighths hose, and that three eighths hose, uh, you know, for long distances, the pressure is going to drop from your tank to your tool. Now you can just crank the regulator up more, you know, to overcome it. But the best way to do it is to have a bigger line going into the hose reel. So a bigger line from the tank to the hose reel. So I got a half inch hose right here and I'm gonna have to cut it. And it's a shame to cut this thing but I priced out a um, custom made hose that's as long as I need. It's like 20, well I would have bought the 25 footer. I think it was 30 feet I need so so I needed like 30 feet or something like that so I couldn't just go with you know a 25 footer because I need the extra 5 feet. So I priced out um, a custom made hose with ends crimped on it and stuff. And for a 30 footer, it was, you know, 45 bucks or something. This was 50 bucks at the time of shooting this video and it's 50 feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this hose barb right here. And it's half inch on this side, three quarter inch on this side. And then I got this, which is a half inch to quarter inch. And this is going to go into the hose reel. And then this hose is going to plug in right here. So you got to watch your fittings because, you know, you want to make sure that you get the right size ones. Now, this has got half inch MPT ends. And you can see half inch. Some of them, I think some of the Goodyear ones have 3 8 inch MPT ends. And I don't want that because it's a half inch hose, give me half inch ends. Now, a lot of the 3 8 hoses have quarter inch MPT ends, which is fine, but I wanted the biggest, you know, fittings, biggest hose that I could get within reason. So I'm going to show you all how this is going to be hooked up. And I'm not going to film me hooking it up because I got to get up in the rafters and cut it and do all that. But I'm going to show you all the finished product and how this is going to go. So let's go over to the compressor and see how this is going to look. All right, so y'all can see I got this thing hooked up now. I got it double clamped. I didn't crank them down too much because I didn't want it to eat into the hose, but I got this plugged right here with a quarter inch plug. And what I like to do is, or what I've been doing is, on the temporary stuff, because this is temporary, I'm gonna add more on here later. Um, I like to use white Teflon tape. You can see this is all yellow stuff and this is white because it's way cheaper, like half the price, so. Um, this is all plugged and it's working great and it just runs up there and when I put it when I put it on the hose barb I gave it a little bit of slack like that and then put it on there so that it wasn't tight but I'll take you all off the tripod and show you the rest of it I'll give you a rundown of my whole setup and the compressor and everything um, later so be on the lookout for that video so let me get y'all up in the rafters well from the ground up in the rafters so you can see what it looks like all right, so it goes from right there, up, 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 up there. And I know it's low light, but it's got a little piece of rope. You can see it holding it to take the bend out so it's not resting on those clamps. And those are just conduit clamps. And then it runs over, over, over. Then it bends a little bit right there. Then it runs over. And it comes right there. So I know it's kind of hard to see and there's a lot of light and stuff, but it goes just like that. And you can see there's a better shot of it right there. So, so yeah, just a quick tip for mounting your hose reels. Um, you can see I got a nice bend right there. That way, you know, it's not kinked. So it's got that little bend restrictor on there. So that helps too. So I figured I'd just show y'all this. 
All right, so I figured y'all like that little tip. Um, thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to check the links in the description for all my other air compressor vids, and I'll give y'all a rundown of the whole thing, you know, my whole setup and why I did what I did. But for now, I'm just going to give y'all that quick little tip. Thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more air compressor vids and tool vids in general. Later.